that's not tough to use a computer. And nothing even blew up. So let's do this thing. Welcome to the LARP Book Show. This is episode 56 for the 8th of August, 2017. I'm your host, Stuart Edwards. Hello to everyone. Uh, hello, Rob. How are you? I, I'm going to say fine. I'm lying for my teeth, but I'm fine. <laughs> uh, hello, Luke. How are you? I'm ravishing when I've got internet connection. <laughs> and yeah, and there, there is the, the, the crux of the whole thing when you have internet connection. <laughs> I would happily move away from roofs just to get internet. If I'm honest, I'm on one leg as we speak. I've j- it just looks as if I'm sat down. I'm not. <laughs> just holding the, the, the aerial up somewhere, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Praying to the gods of internet. <laughs> I, pray, I obviously have not prayed enough, quite frankly, because I'm getting nothing at the moment. <laughs> yeah. I completely understand. Right then, um, in tonight's show, Right, what do I need to take with me? Who knows? Uh, and safe LARPing and some other stuff. So let's crack on and uh, get this done, shall we? Uh, right. Just give me a second. I'll like, I can let that go. That's fine. Right then. So um, what we thought we'd do, as it is August time, and August time in the UK particularly, is LARP season. It's the only way to describe it, yeah, because everybody and their mother seems to do a LARP. Um, so with that in mind, we thought we'd do a kind of a little, um, uh, oh, uh, what's, 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 sort of, what, what, what's the phrase I'm looking for, you guys? Help me out. A rundown of what you need. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And, this is, and this is more kind of aimed at the at the new players, those those that... Uh, you know, have not kind of uh, LARPed before, and this may be their first ever game. So we thought we kind of uh, impart our experience, as it were, and, of course, all the things that we really, really cocked up on, um, things that we took with us that were totally impractical, um, things that we took with us that we thought, yep, yep, I've got everything there, and it turns out you haven't. Um, So this is all more about prepping and what to take with you. So, yes. I'll I'll start. I may as well. Um, if it's a sort of event where you're camping, uh, make sure that the tent that you borrowed off your Uncle Albert or whoever it is that you've borrowed it from uh, and actually does have everything, okay? Yes. Yes. Uh, not just take it for red that he's gone, yeah, yeah, everything's everything that you need is in the back. Oh, okay. that's just a big bad, line. bad move. Oh, so bad. Right. And do you know what? I've had people turn up to events, and and you know, as soon as they unpack the the tent, and there's only one pole, and they kind of look at you. And it's, <laughs> like, it's never going to work, is it? And 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 they'll still try and build the tent with that one pole, and yeah. look staggered when when it doesn't, you know, go up. Um, mm. But it is, you know, kind of. And even when you do things like you have the dome tents, you know, you have to remember that a dome tent is not waterproof normally so you need to kind of waterproof them a little bit as well because our weather strangely is 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 not the best really i'd you'd never have known it because in wales we're known for our you know kind of mediterranean style weather uh, especially over in roofs costa roofs it's it's always sunny in wales in wales yeah um very rarely rains um and uh you know kind of so there's there's never that rainy day fund needed (laughs) <laughs> um, but yes, it's uh, it's kind of. I'll tell you the truth. Someone said they were there having an argument about um, one minister who said, by the way, he thought that everyone should have three or four thousand pounds in their bank account for a rainy day. And apparently, in that press conference, a Welsh guy stood up and he said, "You've obviously never been to Wales, but that does explain why I'm broke." That's right. Because yeah. <laughs> if you're spending three or four thousand pounds every the time there's a rainy day, yeah. and you've got too much money. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you're never going to do it. But yeah. it, it is true. I mean, I you know, kind of, uh, and it's if you're going to be there for the weekend, they lie about the, how many people tent as well. So a two-man tent's really just one comfortably. And you know, oh, yeah, of, yeah. 
and, and I've yeah. kind of done it, especially with your kit as well. You kind of need a minimum of a four man tent, according oh, to yeah. the, the the tent thing is, because it's you, and then your kit. Yeah. yeah. And by the by the way, guys, I've just calculated that if you're living in Wales, and you're spending about four thousand pounds on a rainy day, yeah, I just I just work out what the rainy day fund for one year is. Go on. Really, this is just so sad. I, I can't believe you've done the math. Yeah, I have just done the maths. It's one point four million pounds. Well, well, I've got that. You know, we've all got that. that. Yeah, that's I'll yeah. be honest with you, Rob. That's a, a drop in the ocean to what I, have, I actually don't have. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, folks, if you're not sure if Wales is wet or not, I think now you know. Oh yeah. <laughs> Very expensive if it rains in Wales. Was yeah, it? Uh, I think Becky was sixteen before she realised she could take a cargoole off. Yeah. 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 Not, well, not uncommon. Yeah. Not, not uncommon. You know, um, America and now you, most of Europe is going cagoule. What's that? Uh oh, <laughs> that's right. Okay. Are, we, are we showing both age and localized knowledge? Pretty much. A, I think so. uh, a wet a cagoule. A, a, a cagoule. Coat. Yeah, is is a light waterproof coat. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've never had to explain that before. <laughs> <laughs> If there is anybody actually watching that, that, that did know what a cagoule was, uh, yeah. why not give us a thumbs, you know, in, in the thing so we Show can see you. whether or not, actually, you know, uh, you actually know what a cagoule is. <laughs> and the other thing as well is uh, I've noticed that a lot of younger people don't come with things like wash kits because they don't think there's going to be any, um, you know, kind of washing facilities, which that kind of well, normally isn't. Teen, so teenagers don't, don't wash, wash me. Well, I know, but you know, I have my no. monthly bath, and it and it, and it could cross with the going on a weekend. Do you know what I mean? You can't miss your monthlies. No, no, exactly. No. Yeah, you know. <laughs> so, and and every once in a while, you're gonna have to clean your teeth, and you know, I, I just reckoned that actually, you know, it could yeah. again tie in with the weekend. Um, <laughs> you know, so, but it is because it, it, honestly, you, you'd be surprised. You can even if you're not rolling around in the mud. You can get pretty gritty and oh, you know pretty, pretty grimy, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially if you're running around in a forest or anything like that, you know, kind of. Um, so change of clothes, something waterproof, yeah. waterproof tent that is kind of you know is there with ensuite pegs for yes. the wind. Oh, that's the other one as well. The, those little dome tents, <laughs> good in the wind, and they no, sit they're... there and just do this all the time, don't they? Kind of just stretch. <laughs> Uh, 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 let me do that. And there's nothing worse than a tent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's like doing that. Yeah. <laughs> or rather, and and if you haven't and if you haven't pegged it down, it's doing that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I've been there a few times as well. There's only so many pegs you can put down before you sit there and go, "This is going to rip anyway. I'm just going to sit here and take it." Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, and, and I've that's this is why I've got my um, my huge dome tent, uh, oh. my, um, my bell tent because it, it actually does take the, the beating, the weather, you know. Uh, and mm. of course, it's got a mezzanine and a, you know, kind of a loft conversion, so um, yeah, yeah. can't go without all your comforts if I'm honest. Yeah, and, um, and, and, and it's a dungeon, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, in, in fact, I do believe, uh, Rob, you've just bought one, haven't you? I have, yeah, what a dungeon. No, well, yeah, from my, from my new um, bell tent. For your new bell tent. Well, get this. Right. There is right. Uh, the equivalent of the little big top. You know how big my tent is, right? Yeah. Um, I'd try that twice now. <laughs> I'm going to get it too. Oh, we God. Are. So um, you're going to need a van and like a whole uh, array of circus goers, uh, you know, uh, carnies. Acrobats, to it up. Like trying to put it up. Um, no, you're right. Uh, it's a, a nine man job. I'm going to need to have more kids, if I'm honest, uh, just for tent erection. Um, but yeah, you know, kind of. But it is good. If you've got a nice big tent, you can put your stuff out if it's really wet somewhere to sit. The smaller tents are great, but they're not brilliant if you get a really wet day and you are camping and there isn't any other uh, any other stuff about to go and stand under. Nothing worse than trying to wait because there's a lot of waiting around in in Larpin, isn't there? Let, let's face it. Um, and sometimes there's nothing worse than just stood in the rain, just getting wet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Uh, 
Nice to see uh, Thomas of the Busby in the chat there. How you doing, buddy? Oh, not all of us can afford a second home to take away with us. I can't even <laughs> afford a first one, if I'm honest. <laughs> I'm lying to myself. I just put it all on the credit card until they, f- they phone me up as they normally do and go, look, come on. <laughs> The idea uh, is you're supposed to put money back in. in and I think you were saying hi. Uh, hi, Thomas, but hi to Gideon. Oh, yes. hi, Gideon. How are you? Yes. Good old Gideon. And, and actually, Karen Farrell is someone I used to work with. Oh, yeah. right. Well, give us, give us a big thumbs up, some hearts, and what have you. <laughs> it, it all helps with the, the propagation oh. of this uh, video. Uh, now, sure. Hang on yeah. a second. Why is Tom on that side of the screen, not this side of the screen? Yeah, well, Tom. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. You know, that's right. That's fine. That's, that's cool. fine. That's cool. fine. He's just what he wants. He's, yeah, exactly. he's a lone exactly. wolf. Um, um, right, so, so we we've talked we talked briefly about tents, right? But you know, yeah. as, as we say, make sure you've got everything. Put it up in your back garden, whatever. You know. Oh yeah, please. Just your tent. Um. As 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 Luke said, you know um, the dome tent. So any tent really, uh, get some waterproofing spray. Just you know, it doesn't matter if they say, "Oh yeah, it's already done." Do it yourself, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because Every year, then, do it again. then you know, then you know it's been done, right? Because it may have been done ten years ago, <laughs> or you know, and and then they packed it away. All right, so do it again. It's it, you know it. It is worth doing. It's worth spending that little bit of money to get the stuff and get it all done. Um, now, yeah, I mean, Luke, Luke men- mentioned wash kit. Yeah, mm. that's, you, yeah, that's, you should wash at an event, especially even, like a five day one. Even just the basics. I mean, some events don't have showers. A no, lot of them. Yeah, or some of them have showers you really don't want to use. Oh yeah, uh, that's right. You <laughs> the hose yourself. Yeah, yeah, but if if you can, at the very minimum, you know, take some a soap, flannel, um, and toothpaste. You know, you, you're on a winner there to begin with. You know, and you know, it, it, now we're getting personal. I've taken talc as well. Yeah. Well, um, you know, but not for there. Although, um, <laughs> it's I know it sounds strange, uh, but I do wear a lot of leather. Um, and that's not even when I'm role playing. Uh, I'm happy with it. My buttockless chaps and, and everything yeah, else. Just... Um, but when you're wearing leather uh, trousers in order to physically represent a specific piece of armor and what have you, which a lot of us do have, um, you'd be surprised that when that gets hot, it starts to <laughs> really chafe. And so a bit of bit of talcum powder just you know keeps it all smooth and keeps dry, it... uh, stops the chafing. Thank you. So. Sir. Absolutely for that. Um, I, th- I think yeah, hygiene is pretty good. Uh, it's, 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 you've got to be pretty good with it. So to, uh, yeah. dress to kill. On my, that. my my oh, wife look. Karen has, has just just brought me a lovely oh. cup of tea in the in in the LARP book mug. Oh, I, think, we, I, think, I didn't even get that. I just got one of these. I think yeah. probably the only one we ever sold. <laughs> it's keeping the dream alive. Keeping the dream. alive. <laughs> Thanks for that. Um, <laughs> Up what, about, um, what about storage for your weapons as well? Because a lot of people have got very long weapons um, and yeah. they have problems putting them in the car, but then they've got nowhere to put them in that little dome tent. Yeah. There. I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, if, yeah I mean, one of the rules out is if you've got a tent, it's got to be big enough for you and, and your kit. And your kit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah Because you can't leave latex out in the weather, especially, you know, kind of where you've got warm days, cool nights. Mildew mornings, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, again, uh, what, what is it? I mean, I know that uh, Dave McLuglin used to use a kind of like a um, well, it's almost like a WD forty, but it's it's not. I it's, think it's like it's, some kind it's of silicon, silicon spray. spray. It's a silicon yeah. spray. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's your friend. It's great stuff. Yeah, just because that kind of makes it a little bit more durable, you know. Yeah. Uh, no, it's probably a little bit more waterproof as well, just in case yeah. it does rain. You know, with I, with, I, with me, I with, it's also. So if you go on. Yeah, that's right. With, with with me, I mean, I I went to uh, one of the local um, fishing shops, you know, uh, and I actually bought um, uh, a rod carrier, for want of a better word. Oh know? yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen those. You They're know? quite cool. 
and, and I, I just put yeah. all the weapons in there. It also makes it really easy to transport stuff as well because yeah. you can chuck, you can chuck a load of weapons in, in those things. You know, you have an armory in, in, in the damn thing, uh, and of course, when you're carrying it, it doesn't look you know like an idiot when you go to the car or what have you, um, yeah. because you're just carrying a fishing rod bag. Okay, the shield doesn't fit in there, or the metal armor. <laughs> but yeah, you know, uh, and it, 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 it also it also stops the, the, the police knocking on your window as you're going up the motorway, going, hey, "Excuse me, Sonny." You know, they, you know, <laughs> what's with like jacks? What's, yeah, what's with all the, the weaponry in the back of the car? Um, remember, you know, don't say anything sort of terroristy at that point. <laughs> Yeah, but it's you know it's, it's good stuff because I suppose when you when you think of how much um, a lot of weapons cost you, you know, even yeah. a, a, just a small short sword can cost you fifty, sixty quid. You know, uh, it's a lot of money, isn't it, to start to hammer around if you don't look after them and find a little case and yeah. something to keep it nice and straight and you know kind of look after it. And I think doesn't that kind of lead us quite nicely? You know, kind of I suppose once we've done that, we should come back to that link and segue because. Uh, talking about weapons and maybe you know kind of what we were talking about doing a little weapons check video yeah um i i think we're going to definitely sort of do one of those uh, mm. in, in the future um and a an advisory uh, mm. video um on mm. how to how to actually do that um because there's nothing worse than you know driving six and a half hours whatever it is uh, to mm. get to an event with all the weaponry and you you, you take it to you know the uh, the safety guys, and they go, "Nope, can't use that. Nope, can't use that. Nope, can't use that." Mm. Um, yeah. But it's a good idea, actually. But also, also because it, it's getting so much more complicated now as well. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean um, some, some of the some of the new weapons will be accepted by one one game and rejected by another just because of yeah, yeah. how they're made or, or who's made them. <laughs> Yeah, but well, I suppose it's... what, yeah, I mean, we should should look at that because I, I've, um, mm. if you remember the gathering, I've forgotten who it was who, who turned up and uh, as, a, as a seller of weapons, and basically the whole lot were completely um, written off. I can't well, remember I... who it was. Yeah, well, actually, that's, 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 is, um, that's is, yeah. is Jamie still in the chat? I think I, I think he, I did but see I, him there. It'd be really interesting if we could get uh, someone who either makes them and then someone who checks them independently. Well, tell you what, let me show you something. We'll talk to you, you guys about something, okay? I'm yeah. going to take you on a little adventure. Oh, a little. You, I'm taking you on a little on a little quest. You didn't even have to offer me any sweets. I was there. Yeah. Okay, go to larpin.co.uk. Yeah. Okay. Are we all going to this now? Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to crash the server. <laughs> so Viewers, please join in and crash and crash laughing server. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he'll really thank us for that. Definitely. <laughs> right, yeah. The coffee, man. yeah. We're all there, yeah. It's okay, we're dying. Okay, now, put, now go to put your mouse over laugh weapons. Yeah. On the menu, and go down to set from the bottom, epic armory hybrids. Ooh, okay. Right. Right. So I've got a load of swords now. Okay. Now pick the sword of your choice. Me, I like a cutlass. Ooh. I think I'm going to go for the uh, Nadachi, the 55. I'm, I'm raping her. Yeah. Oh. No, yeah. Classic. You look, you look you the you look... Yeah. Okay. So these are either new hybrids, which are hybrid of traditional build and foam injection. Right. Okay. Yep. And scroll down to the bottom where Jamie has quite nicely done a list of systems where they are allowed and not allowed. Oh, yeah. Good, good, good lad. lad. That's good. I like that. Okay. Well, Jamie, if you if if you are if you are in the chat, well, well, well done, bud. If not, I think we should have a little chat with Jamie and maybe go up one day to the shop, and um, <laughs> you know, kind of do some videos on that sort of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but... I think that'd be a great idea. Yeah, because that does look actually uh, adventure time. Yes, um, but yeah, it, it is. Uh, it, it is. I think we should. I think we should because I think this is where we need to see how people make them. But it'd be very interesting as to why people like Lorien Trust don't like them. Because I think when you spend, if you're going for the first time, because we're talking really, we're trying to get to these people who are going yeah. for the maybe the first or second time. They're yeah. not going to understand that they can't just buy any sword, or they're not going to understand. 
why they can't go uh, to certain events because they'll just want to they'll, they'll get invited won't they they'll, they'll go along with the flow and they're going to go we're going off to the lorry trust you yeah. fancy coming they've just spent 80 quid on a sword and it's going to get kicked yeah. out even though it's brand new well, and, it's it. and now they've got nothing because a lot of people only really have that one sword it just kind of like does everything yeah. and they have sword and a dagger um and i know i've had the, the one you know, I've, kind of I've never one. i've never understood people with just one sword i'll be honest with you really, oh, for god's sake look i've got a tent with a mezzanine which you don't have all right mm-hmm. Lots of storage for all the weapons I'm about to steal off Jamie when I go into <laughs> his shop. Okay, I've got to have something to store the booty. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah it, it's 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 kind of um, it, 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 I think we do need to because this is a conversation that. Well, I'm I'm wondering whether anyone from Lorien Trust is prepared to kind of talk to us about their safety standards so that we can at least have that open discussion and say well you know kind of it's up to other people then if they if they don't want to change or if we we, we can understand why people make the decisions they do um well, there's obviously a good reason for it well i'll chat to them see, see see if they will yeah um yeah. but I, but i think to be honest with you i think right now i think um it, anybody who's actually had a little look at what jamie's done on the site you know i think yeah. you should give it a big thumbs up at this point oh, on the yeah, video yeah. you know because uh Thumbs up and hearts and all the rest of it really uh, help videos and what have you, apparently, with, yeah. uh, with Bookface. Um, yeah. I, mm-hmm. I learned that yeah. the other day. Yeah, but that's, that, that's, so, that, that, that's the thing that people are facing now is that, you know, not, it used to be, you used to buy a weapon, it would, a new weapon would work everywhere, but that's, yeah. that's gone now, big time. Well, and, yeah. and I suppose, it, you know, on the smaller events, can you not have the other, the other, other way as well where, you know what you could not get away with at a bigger event you probably could at a you know a smaller event it doesn't make it any oh, less or more yeah. dangerous but you know i've well, been to events where none of my weapons have been checked at all yeah um and then other events where you can't go onto a field without someone going come on let's have a look at it um yeah. and then you know a lot of the time having to go right well okay i'll just put it over by that tree then shall i you know um and that can, you know, it, it's it's worth, it's definitely worth knowing whether what you have, it, even if it's like second hand, it's worth knowing whether it's going to be okay and it's going to pass that, you know, the general test, yeah. the general test, you know. Because um, mm-hmm. I think that, and it's like um, armour as well, that there's parts of armour and shields that you can't use Ooh. in certain events because, um, wasn't it, um, again, I'm going back to the gathering now, but do you remember the um, the DM, is it DM, DM D, D, DCM, D. DMV, DM, I've forgotten what they were now. The Strong Oak was part of it. And they used to have those big shields. Run, run DMC. Run DMC, that was right. Yeah, Aerosmith. Yeah. 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 Um, and they used to have those huge shields, but they were made of uh, a certain type of wood with, you know, foam around them. And yeah. then all of a sudden the gathering got very funny with them. For, for, uh, there must have been a, an understandable reason for it. Um, but they did get a bit funny with them. And so even sometimes you can be a very skilled weapon and, you know, kind of um, uh, armor maker, but it doesn't and it won't pass, you know, it every muster, single, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you know, kind of yeah. uh, muster, will it? So it's worth kind of looking at that as well. Well, yeah. do you remember, Stu, what, well, you had a little thing of, few, of quite a few years ago now, but uh, where a weapon, where a shield lopped off part of your weapon. Yeah. Oh, wow. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah because it, 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 it was one of those um, harder made shields, basically. Um, <clears throat> it did take a notch out because of, you know, my impact on it and, and what have you. So uh, you can understand, you can understand that, that, in a frenzied situation, if someone fell on that, oh, yeah. um, you know, yeah. your chin or yeah. something, you know, that's that's good. Nice you know, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I can I can understand, you know, why why they sort of said about those sorts of things. But they, I yeah. can understand why there's different safety standards because people are going to take different views on the same yeah. situation. Yeah, you know, now now well, if you, if we were going to take this to a Nordic LARP, you can take a metal shield, rock on. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say then go the Nords, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> no, no, no. But I, but I, well, actually, we, we should do that. Actually, we should we should take the show to to a Nordic lap or to somewhere like Drac, a Drakenfest soon. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, if yeah. you remember, didn't one? I can't remember who it was. Was there a Belgian guy who came over with a, a proper sword and just latexed it? Yeah. Oh yeah, because yeah. that's that's kind of what he, he thought. Yeah. Like, okay. I, I don't, it was in the early days. I know it was quite a few years ago that happened. And we're all it, going, had, it had, you know, if, if, if you look at the definition, it had a solid core 
with a latex <laughs> surrounding. Well, I suppose Perfect. technically compliant, except the guy with no rib cage. That's right. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's kind of uh, it's it, it's kind of serious, isn't it? Because you know, I've even been checked on some of my um, van braces. Some of the, um, you know, we, we've, you know, our leather suits. We we had Rob matching his and hers, and I'm not going to tell you who the male and female. Rob uh, Stuart and I, uh, red and black, same armor. It was definitely his and hers, wasn't it? Um, yeah. Mine was black and his was girly red. To give you an idea yeah. who the feminine. Oh was. yes. Um, but I remember when we were going into battle. If you remember, the studs started to pose a bit of a problem. They weren't happy with them, were they? For some reason, I can't remember why. I think they felt that they were just going to. The studs posed the studs posed a bit of a problem when I was trying to hold you up when you were fainting. You know? Yeah, yeah. In in fairness, yeah, yeah. That that's uh, yeah. Yeah, it's all coming back to me now. In fact, actually. <laughs> Is it? um but it was and and so even things like buckles in the wrong place if you know if you get a kind of like a bit of a bit of a ref going on those not jobs worth but you know they're very very keen eyed they could find problems with pretty much everything you've got so i like that's what i like about what jamie's done because i've never seen that before about saying that look if you're going to buy this that's fine but these people won't accept it so i suppose what we should do is drill down a little bit more and say well why 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 won't they accept it what is it you know um shoes Uh, what about boots boots okay For, for me um good boots right i I don't, oh, I, I don't care if they're not uh, character in keeping. You can dress them up to make character in keeping. But um, a good pair of stout walking boots, or uh, I, I like the ones that, that, that encompass my ankles. And what have you, because I like, I like the feeling of, of, of stability, rigidity there, uh, so I can um, run over rocky things and have my knee pop out anyway. But uh, at least my ankle doesn't go at the same time. Um, <laughs> I think we both know that was not a rock you were jumping over when your knee popped out. Now was it? Uh, yeah. How big was the incline? <laughs> it, was a, it was like about how much. You yes, it was. Up. Yes, it was. <laughs> and Rob was there as well because Rob headbutted yeah. that piece of uh, wood. If you remember, about half an yeah. hour afterwards. Yeah, it wasn't a weekend for anyone. That one was it. So again, why are we talking about safety? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because we've done all the research so they don't have to. Um, so you, so you not don't have to. You don't we not happened if you had but a, a wooden pillar. <laughs> yeah. But if you you are yeah. right though, I mean, I, I, see, I've gone the opposite way. Uh, although I like a pair, of, you know, because I, I had those um, biker boots, and I bought. I think I'm pretty sure I bought those from a, a gathering. I'm, I'm absolutely yeah, convinced. Many years. Back. Yeah, and then you know, and they're great, but boy, they're really hard to get off. And put back on again because you kind of have to just get whatever sizes are available. Um, but I, then, I, I pretty much just leave them on for the weekend, mate. <laughs> you go to sleep in them, I know you do. And but, you know, when you think about it, you go to you go to Lou in full plate mail armor and you forget it, you know. Mm-hmm. So, whatever you put on, you're gonna have to get off again at some point during the weekend. Yeah. Um, and, and I think boots are pretty important because there's a lot of standing around, a lot of running. A lot of running. You'd be surprised. You start to get some, you know, chain or plate mail on, uh, even heavy leather. You've got your shield. You've got your massive, you know, kind of hitty stick. And uh, and all of a sudden, you know, you can get knackered pretty quickly. I've done it where I've had to have the equivalent of a fag break after 20 metres running up a hill. Yeah, pretty much. And, pretty yeah. much. The um, so It's not good. So, so if 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 we look at that then I mean uh, the, the the obvious things but sometimes aren't so obvious right yeah uh, plenty of change of underwear because you 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 don't want things growing <laughs> there um, <laughs> what do you plenty. do with your underpants <laughs> I burn mine mate um, the uh, plenty of good socks and, and I don't and I don't mean I don't mean cheap cheap socks right. You know, spend a bit of money is my advice. If you haven't got the money, well, okay, you you, you get the best you can, right? But spend a bit, a bit of money on good hiking socks uh, yeah. because they are worth their weight in gold. They really are. Except when it gets yeah. really warm. Well, no. You, uh, no hiking, they're, 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 they're superb for that because they? that's, yeah. what, that's what they're designed for, you know. I got some um, of those old army socks and you just sweat continually in them 
Oh, no, not, not army socks, mate. I, I said hiking socks, not army socks. Uh, army yeah. socks are, are made from the most resilient uh, material on the planet and are designed to actually um, murder people, you know, like yeah. Yeah. And things like that. <laughs> <I'm> yeah. <right. laughs> like sticky bombs. We've yeah. all seen saving, saving Private Ryan. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Army socks um, are dangerous. Yeah. Hey, Stewie, so, your dad's in the house. Is he? He's watching. Yeah. There we go. Hey, Pa, how are you? <laughs> You're looking really good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's not bad. Not bad. Yeah. So, um, the with you know, with, with, with me as well. Like, I say, good, good socks, right? Take take a few different yeah. spare changes of clothing. That's that's a given because if one lock gets wet, you can you can change it out to one have you. Yeah, your yeah. your armor, I doubt you. You know, the, unless unless you're filthy rich and you've got you know uh, several sets of armor, one for Monday, one for Tuesday, one for, you know, um, then you're just gonna have to live with that. But yeah. you know, be, okay. be yeah. uh, let's let's got the changes of armor and the separate armor tent. You know, yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> in the armor yeah. wing. Oh, yes. um, well, I was I was also going to say that there is a part of me because unfortunately theft does happen as well. So uh, should we not talk about? Don't take anything you're not prepared to lose. Pretty much, a bit like gambling. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Because <laughs> unfortunately, if you if you take your wallet, if you take your phones, and you know there are unfortunately in every single large system you know where you might have people just come in or you know kind of you might just leave stuff in your tent for long periods of time um theft does happen it, it, you know it's just one of those things that it kind of does happen um yeah. and things get lost and you know and then you have people going oh i've got an heirloom and you're saying why did you bring that why did yeah. you bring that don't bring that kind of stuff so if you really do value it jewelry or anything like that, just don't take it don't take it to these kind of weekends because oh, if you do right. lose it it's heartbreaking you know yeah um hey Agreed. hey kez nice to see you buddy you know um uh, give us give us a heart give us a wave etc it's uh it's good to see you there buddy i haven't, I haven't spoken for a little while uh, oh, we've got it's steiner mac lock lane yeah, is going steiner. to start oh, I'm yeah. So glad you said that. I was I was staring at that for a little bit, but um, uh, it was, yeah. that was so, almost a game of chicken. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So no, we, we I th- so we're just going to prove who we are by going, yeah. Stop. Stop. Did he not finish the sentence? Was he talking supper? Um, yeah. I don't know what it. Superintendent. I don't know. Yeah, um, but yes, you're very welcome. Hello. Yeah. Hello. But it is good because I, I um, private uh, uh, stuff is is you know kind of uh, I think it's, it's really yeah. really important, especially because I mean, you, you may not be in a tent, you might be in if, um, if you're if, if you're taking you know if if you're taking stuff like like your mobile phone or what have you, well you you're taking your life in your own hands anyway, uh, taking it out on a battle, uh, you know just wait for that cracked screen. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if anyone calls you, you will not <laughs> get out alive. Especially mm-hmm. if you've got a really shocking ringtone as well, and you go, "Hello, mom, I'm a bit busy. Can I call you back?" Um, <laughs> you know, it's, you know, if if your your phone goes off, you're a big burly bloke, you know, all dressed up like you know, and and, and it goes like, "I'm a Barbie girl <laughs> in a Barbie world." <laughs> Hello, mom. Busy. <laughs> yes, of course I love you. I told you I have. I'm not saying it again. Um, <laughs> But yeah, no, you're right because it, it's uh, it, it's you know kind of those kind of things. I mean, um, and, and I tell you what, I, I'm down with those people who say, do you know what? I don't think you should have those kind of things on your on your person, especially if you're trying to recreate a specific atmosphere. Nothing That's worse right. than having a massive Casio watch in a kind of medieval uh, setting. If you see what I mean, it's just, it's just ne- it never bit. works. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, they can go 470 steps, only three thousand three hundred. In it, hey, look, I'm battling it, eh? I'm wearing this. <laughs> yeah, I can't get you <laughs> link it into everyone else. So, in one final battle, you do 4,321 steps and you really Woo-hoo. congratulate yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and, I've, no, and I've gone up 99 floors. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But it is. I, I kind of. I'm kind of okay with you know that concept. I mean, um, I tell you what. I do. I do find, and I don't know whether Jamie sells them actually, but uh, usually when you go to these kind of events, the little bits of jewelry you get those really cheap kind of pocket watches, 
And I've yeah. I bought a few of those. You know, they only can last a weekend. But you know, you got one, and that's quite cool if you need to desperately know the time. Um, yeah. But if you're going to, is great. Yeah. Yeah, but if you're going to do it properly and you're going to leave stuff in your tent and what have you, just be conscious. You know, you've got to be safer than sorry. If you see what I mean, and you can't lock yeah. everything up, and you know, um, and, and nothing's bulletproof, is it? So uh, it's just worth having that in mind. You know, Ke- Kevlar's bulletproof. Yeah, but how many people do you know go around with armor from made from Kevlar? Yeah, so I'm talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, the market. Yeah, it, it went very, very quiet then, didn't it? <laughs> but I was, uh, uh, I was thinking, you know, I, 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 yeah, because uh, it's, it's kind of um, so we dealt with oh, kit, uh, especially if it's raining as well. Wet kit, the worst thing ever. Well, uh, that's, um, what, that's what I said. Yeah, you know, try, try, try and make sure you you, you take extra stuff because oh, yeah. you, you need to dry that out to use that again the next day or whatever. You so has anyone got a weather forecast for the the UK over the next three weeks? Shit, 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 shit. It's pushing your neck a bit. It makes it's easy. Wet. Wales, wet. Scotland, wet. cold. Wet. England, throw dice. Yeah, throw dice. Yeah, yeah. Spain, <laughs> probably a better chance. Roll a one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the, um, <laughs> The right, so okay, we 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 talked about that that sort of stuff. Now, how about safety? You know, y- your own safety then at, at a LARP, right? I mean, again, my suggestions are listen to what you're being told. Um, if there are sort of any uh, fight clubs or tutorials, you know, especially if you're going for the first time, um, or even ask someone that's been going for a very long time, you know, any chance you can teach me how to uh that that's going to you know really help you out in the long run um read the rule book yeah oh God. that's something we never did was it but i, yeah. you, um, I mean kez is in the chat he, he he knows you know and i'm yeah, sure he'll gonna... comment i'm sure he'll comment in in in, 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 in a minute he's with not going to be able to comment he's still bread. falling off his, his his stall from what you just said about read the rule book uh, <laughs> yeah. i'm surprised you said it without giggling um but yeah it kez, is do you know what kez. Yes, if you think that I've ever read the rule book, right, or rather, if you think that I've never read the rule book, uh, chuck a couple of hearts in there, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Those are pending, then. That's going to happen. Um, yeah. But it, it is because I, I always think as well that whenever I go to these events, even, I mean, I've been going for a few years now, um, that I always yeah. still try and have a practice session before I, I go into it because you, you are quite heavy-handed, quite naturally. Um, uh, good comment, good comment, comment by the way, kids. people. Read it or die. Read it or die. Well, that's that's Kez and his is very much the Samaritan attitude that he's got, which is why he's so successful. Just mm. jump. You bore yes. me now. Read it yeah. or die. Um, mm. That's that's the uh, no. well. I think that's clear. Let's go. <laughs> the um, yeah, Kez Kez knows that I never read. I, I never read it. You know, he sent yeah. it to me, so I went. That's nice. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't even got PDF viewer and doesn't read anything. So why would you need that? Yeah. <laughs> but it is not. It, no, it is good because I think, um, I, I mean, I've been into lots of, I think that's what I kind of liked about the larger uh, events like the gathering where they, they was that, remember that field that you could go on and just pick a fight with pretty much anyone who was there. Yeah. Um, and the idea was just to get you warmed up really more than anything else. But if you listen to the people you're fighting, because everyone's got a different style there. You know, there are some, like me and Stuart, we'll just go hell for leather at each other. Uh, sometimes without the swords, we'll just go for yeah, each yeah. other because uh, that's funny. Um, but then other people are like wilting flowers and you go in and you think you're being quite, you know, quite okay yeah. with them. Um, but actually, all of a sudden, they're almost at A&E. Um, you know, yeah, yeah. Um, so do listen to the very person that you're, you, you know, you're in combat with. Um, yeah. And, you know, I always try to pick on people that are bigger on me than me because at least then you know you're never going to hurt them, no matter how old you're going. That's right. Yeah, that's right. You're going to get a pummeling, <laughs> but you will not hurt them. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, and that's that's why you normally pick on me. I mean, you know. Yeah, yeah, always. No, I pick uh, on you because I can. And it's funny. And it's funny. And I pick on Rob because um, I genuinely think at some point I can run faster than him. <laughs> yeah, away now. That's what it is. So what I do is I prod you, and then I just run like anything. We have a fag break, cup of coffee, 
you know, yeah, and then we carry on running a little bit. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. And then you just wait um, for me. Right. So, what 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 else do we need do we need to talk about in 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 this sphere of things then? Makeup. What happens if you're going to be a drow or something like that? Oh, end it with makeup. Yeah, makeup's good. Oh, like makeup. that's a, no. It's it sounds strange, but uh, does, I've, that, I've does, never seen... does that does that really fall under safety? <laughs> yeah, it can do if you're going to put them in. You know, kind of uh, stuff in your eyes and um, you know, kind of your your uh, lenses and fake or no, that contact, kind of stuff. Yeah, okay. yeah, you got to yeah, be really yeah. careful with that. Contact lens safety. If you're going to use fake, fake con- you're going to use oh, yeah. aesthetic contacts. Really Super matters. glue on your ears as well. That's not good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not good. Not good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, someone had to be surprised. I have seen someone use that, and then you look genuinely shocked. A when it didn't stay on, but then when it did stay on, it really stayed on. Stayed and on. He had all the way through the weekend. He had little bits. He had ears on ears because he'd rip them off. And then there's a little bit of latex here. By the end of the weekend, his ears came up here a little bit. But actually, that part was just ear on ear on ear where he just replaced it. <laughs> it looked like a bloody fraggle at the end of it. So, you know, that, that wasn't what I think he was going for. <laughs> My apologies. Yeah. But, yeah, so, um, but, yeah, from a, a safety point of view, I, I don't know. I think you've, you have got to be fairly fit. And I think if you've got any health issues... You might need to let people know high blood pressure, yeah. cholesterol. You I mean, if you, you know anybody and <laughs> anybody worth it worth their salt, if you, if if you've got a health issue, regardless, right, you know yeah. you've got. It. Um, so you can inform the people that are running it. You know, yeah, this is what I've got. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Uh, if something should happen, here's what to do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My 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 medicine epipen etc is located at. Yeah. You know, um that that sort of thing so yeah i mean that that's important but <clears throat> anybody with a condition should all you know are usually already yeah, switched usually not again let no. the first aiders know that's that's the that's the thing i would always recommend because if they're the people that are going to attend uh kez has brought up a really good thing is trying to make it first as some people are very sensitive that is actually true i've worn yeah. you know when you 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 kind of because there are some characters where you spray your hair i'm going to say you spray your hair having probably never ever experienced that or never will experience that um <laughs> but i've done my beard a few don't don't laugh come on um but when rob sprays his hair um you know when he's he's, he's playing his you know whatever um you can get very sensitive to it and oh, i've God, worn yeah. makeup then afterwards you start itching you know so yeah. um you know because uh, i'm very sensitive my skin is um smooth as a baby's bottom watch your makeup yeah, yeah. And latex as well. If you're going to use latex for some yeah. years or something else, latex allergies can be unpleasant. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean, definitely. I'm, I, I'm lucky. I don't have an allergy to anything. So you know, um, uh, apart from maybe, no, I don't have anything. So uh, <laughs> you've got an allergy to work. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a hard worker. You know, I, do, I, I work smarter. Work smarter, not harder. Work smarter. smarter. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I've got an allergy to work. <laughs> Do we all? Uh, um, the oh, yeah. <laughs> work, 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 work. The uh, so what? What? Are the, yeah, I mean, me makeup. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, oh, drugs. Oh, yeah. If you mm. take prescription Education. drugs as well. You yeah. need to let you need to let the um, site gods know that if it's kind of serious stuff. No, if, yeah. If it, if it, it, it you know usually if they're a big enough event uh, and your medication needs to be refrigerated, mm-hmm. uh, well, for, they'll usually have something there. But if not, you know, don't rely. Don't rely no, on no. Yeah. You know, make, make your own arrangements for that. Uh, whether that's a, um, a cooler thing in the back of your car that's plugged into your battery that'll, you know, drain it by the end of the weekend um, or, or some other, some other way that, you know, there's, there's solar powered ones, etc. There's yeah. ones you can get for boats that run off um, water, um, which are, are ingenious. Right? My dad, my dad used to have one on, on the boat, and it, that was nothing was absolutely ingenious. You just top it up with water, and somehow it kept cold. I still don't know how it works. Yeah, it was bizarre. Um, magic. It worked just by by pure magic. Um, <laughs> so so yeah, you know, and, and of course if you're if you happen to be going to one of the the LARPs that uh, uh, are, are abroad, for instance, make sure you've got everything that you need medication wise and, and all that malarkey, you know. Yeah. Um, and and you know, 
I think Rob, you you're going to bring up money as well, the the money side of things. Is that right? Uh, yes. Blank. No, and I just forgot what I said. I've gone blank. Yeah. I'm just thinking about when you went abroad. Then, is whatever you do, please, 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 make sure you have got medical insurance. You're traveling. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Don't too many, right? Um, okay. I'll... Yeah, oh, yeah. And money. Make sure you've got cash. By the way, if you're going to, to a big fest event. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Because well, I mean, um, there are there are you know you're getting a lot of them now. Because I mean, when you think about it, if you're spending, you know, kind of 100, 150 quid because you've, you've saved all your, you know, on armor. Um, a yeah. lot of the places will take cards. Um, yeah. but if, if it's uh, if, if if it's kit based or what have you, yeah, you yeah. You'll, you'll find that they'll have some trinkets and... card, card payment system. Yeah. Uh, but you know, if you're talking about your food places or what have you, and blah yeah. blah blah, yeah. they probably won't. It's it's but, cash. Business. It's, it's kit. It's kit vendors. I'm thinking about because kit, kit vendors won't. No, sorry, it's food vendors. I'm thinking about because kit vendors would normally take cards and have something said there. But people, mm. but the bar, the, the hot dog stand, the noodle bar, whatever, they're going to take cash. And if yeah. you're hungry yeah. or you want a drink, you're going to want the cash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And actually, I, I, that, that kind of fits in with what Kez has just said. To, uh, take a time out if you need it. Don't just push on. I think oh, that's, um, yeah. well, that's, said, that's yeah. a really good piece of advice. That is that. Um, you know, a lot of people don't tend to do that, um, you know, and, and remember for many, but even, and, and I would categorize myself with this. Yeah. Um, and, and and I would say the, the, the one basically sitting, you know, uh, on, on, on right by me here that I'm kind of pointing yeah. at right now yeah. is one of the world's worst at Perhaps. just continually pushing on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 But mm-hmm. when you think about yeah. it, if you, if you're like us and your armchair, um, you know, kind of um, you know, role players where you only get it once a year just because you know you have to make an appearance somewhere. <laughs> um, you know, yeah. and I've been to cases of any, and you know what he look, he gives you that look as if it's like, really, I didn't think you could put any more weight on there. Um, yeah. and, you, and, and you know, and you do try and push on, and I think that it's got to have quite a toll on your body, hasn't it? Because you, you'll just run around just because you can. And you know you're huffing and puffing and blowing steam and what have you, and it can't yeah. be good for the body. So it, I think you're absolutely right there, Kez. Just you know, just take five. I think people kind of get it that you know, for many, you know, you maybe go once, twice a year, and, and that's not you know an incorporation of your fitness thing. Oh. Look, the, the oh oh, here he goes. Oh, I felt that the oh, amount. Yeah. The, the amount of times that that, that we, we've gone, you know, come on, because, you know, there's, there's this battle, we all need to be in it and what have you, you know, and we go like, yeah, 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 when, we, when we're destroyed. <laughs> Do you know, as, as you said that, as he just did that, a couple of my plants started to wave a little bit. There's just <laughs> the aftershock. <laughs> if I had hair, it'd be flapping in the wind right now. Exactly. You just look stunned, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I've sorry, never, everybody. My apologies for that. We've That's never sneezed so badly, way. Rob, and then actually had a, a kind of like you've had to take a couple of seconds because it's generally shocked you more than it has anyone else. Yeah. yeah. You want to be looking That's at what we're looking at. That's quite well, gentle as well. Yeah, well, if it, at the moment, at a point I sneezed, uh, my screens went blank. <laughs> And um, my screen, my live feed is is now dead. No. <laughs> well, don't worry. Either Stuart's staying incredibly still, or he's just doing exactly the same. So we're all there. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think you just overloaded the system with with with, with your sneeze, bud. Well done. Yeah, um, some people have got other powers, but yours is the power of sneeze. Uh, but that wasn't the superpower you were hoping for, was it? <laughs> Damn those powers! Um, <laughs> right. So, uh, yeah. So, money, as I said, take enough to make sure that you know that you've got enough for the weekend yeah. for, for your eating, for your drinking, etc. And and you know, here's my own personal one. Yeah. When I say drinking, I don't mean just alcohol. All right. Yeah. Get get water down your neck. I don't mean Lucas Aid. I don't mean Powerade. I don't mean any of that rubbish. Yeah, yeah, Actual, yeah. honest to goodness, water. Just water because yeah. you'll need yeah. it. You're running around like an idiot. Because we yeah. can't do that. 
much these that's, days. Yeah, it's very true because I see a lot of people and they've got a you know twelve pack of Red Bull and you're thinking, well, I don't sleep anyway and I drink quite a lot of coffee. You've yeah. got no hope. Um, but yeah. it's actually really bad for you, isn't it? Those power drinks if you just drink oh, just yeah. that massively um, for, uh, really really bad um especially if you're if it's a compound effect and you're like us and you're not exactly the fittest do you know well i'm just classing myself here i know you two are you know kind of it's all about your body and being body beautiful but yeah. for me being a bit of a biffer um mm -hmm. and that once or twice a year when i actually get to go and do anything if i then added red bull to it uh i think you'd be pulling me down from the trees yeah yeah de de definitely yeah, so, um, um so definitely in, in, water in the chat yeah. you know if anyone's got any questions or what have you for us while, while we're on here you know check them in the chat I'm, I'm sure we'll get around to answering them um very quickly um yeah. in that respect the um a, a, apart from that it's just use your head to, mm -hmm. you know and i don't mean to not to know people with yeah um you know you, you, use your head if if you feel like you know you are tired guess what you're tired yeah. um Go and have a rest. So what if you miss one battle? There'll be another one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. I tell you what, I found um, early. I, I I almost have to do a bit of a run up to these events because usually by about half eight nine o'clock of an evening, I'm ready to go to bed. Just to say, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm ready to relax. And so I'm out there, you know, kind of, you know, what they're doing, whatever, and you're all over the place, and all of a sudden you just hit a brick wall, and it's yeah. usually about eleven o'clock, something like that, and everyone's just getting going. And you're suddenly yeah. going, yeah, I need to go to bed now. Um, so I have to kind of almost do a mental run up to these events just to kind of get through to 12, one o'clock. And even then I never make it. Um, yeah. So, you know, it, it is something that you have to remember. You're outside all the time. You're exerting quite a lot more energy. You're using a hell of a lot more. So you've got to feed and water your body accordingly and maybe do a little bit of keep fit all the way through the year just so that you get to enjoy it a little bit more, you know, so you're not yeah. constantly having to take time out. But yeah. it's, it is important. It is massively important. Um, and Kez saying bribe the refs. Well, we've always known that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we never did it, but we were aware of the minimum bribe but, level. Yeah, but we were, we, we were aware that it was available to us. But it was. Uh, it's we, something yeah. that we were True. aware that. Yeah. Ah. Um, but it is. Uh, no, it is. It is true. Uh, I think you just got to keep in good communication with people and, and, and be honest. I think be honest with yourselves. You know, um, a little bit of planning really, really helps. It, even I still see now on events where you see, see people on Facebook trying to catch lifts and you're thinking you've had all year to fucking sort this out, you know, and yeah. and, and now you're trying to do it the day before and looking genuinely before. shocked when no one can get to the, you know, kind of uh, the train station. Um yeah. Yeah, just plan it, plan it ahead, and you know, you know where you're going. Uh, we've all got to do it. You know, mm -hmm. it's not rocket science. Um, and there's usually people who, if you if you book it in early enough, will sort you out somehow. There's all shared lifts. We always used to do it. Yeah, you know. Um, exactly. So uh, it's it's kind of you know, if you're going to enjoy your weekend, you don't really want to get there stressed. You know. No. Definitely so, not. Um, no. Definite, definite planning, definite planning, definite right. help. Anything else? Anything else to add, guys? Any anything? You know, any? That's pretty. That's pretty no, I think we've dealt with kit. We've dealt with health. We've dealt with your own safety. No, no, no. That's pretty much it. That was amazing. Right. I think. I think we'll probably end this one here then, buds. All right, and darlings. If you're happy with that. Um. Uh, oh yeah, and just let everybody know as well. We've actually got a new email address. Uh. So it's now just contact us at larpbook.com. So uh, you can just use that whenever you like to send us stuff. All right. Uh, but I'm sure, you know, I'll say that a number more times. Oh, it doesn't uh, be everywhere. You know. Uh, so, so, what address was that again? Uh, contact us at larpbook.com. It's contact us Let me just grab a pen. larpbook.com. Say it again. Uh, it's, LARP, it's contact us at larpbook.com. Com. Okay. Uh, and and I, again, I... I would like to say a, a big thank you to all all, all of the, the the patrons that support this show. Uh, it does really sort of help us out um, to pay for things like hosting, etc., and what have you to keep this show going. Um, it, it really does. So if you think you can afford just like a dollar a month or, or, or what have you, then go across uh, to Patreon uh, and sort of help us out that way. It, you know, otherwise we're going to have to start getting sponsors. You know, I have adverts in the middle. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not going on the game again. Well, yeah, you will. Uh, 
you know, and 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 we don't want to do that. So you know, I, it's, or, or have Luke go on the game again. Um, you know. <laughs> so uh, you know, but if you know if you can't afford it, then just tell people about the show. Just let them know that, that we're here. Let them know about the website because that all really helps. Uh, right. Okay. So here we go then. So um, if you'd like to get in touch with the show, just email contact us at com. Is there a topic you'd like us to discuss or something cool you saw or fancy writing an article for the website? Then email the show, contact us at com. Music was provided by Ben Sound at bensound.com. Again, pop across to the Patreon, patreon.com forward slash LARPUK. Uh, we do have a shop now up on LARPUK, and we'll be adding more stuff there soon as well. As soon as Rob and I can get our heads around it properly. Uh, you can listen to the podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, YouTube, Twitch, Podbean. Just search for LARPUK, and you'll find us. Uh, if you go across the, to, to the website at LARPBook.com, news, reviews, and wonderful things there, we're always constantly updating that, so go do take a look. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, just search for LARPBook, and don't forget, you know, if the system you use allows you to give a rating, then don't forget to actually do that, because that does help the show out, you know, a whole load. So it's a good night from me, it's a good night from Rob, and good night from Luke. Bye. Bye. Good night. Hit the wrong button. <laughs> 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 <laughs>